PC Mag's PC Labs tests thousands of products and more than 100 PCs every year. That includes laptops. We're going to do a quick overview of each of the 10 best laptops we've reviewed and highly recommend for 2020. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 is an impressive laptop on every front. We like the way it looks, the compact chassis is satisfying to use, and the performance is stellar. The main attraction here is a brand new AMD Ryzen 9 Renoir processor, the first AMD Zen 2 laptop CPU we've tested, which really shines and puts a lot of pressure on Intel in this price range. This CPU is snappy for general use, more proficient than the competition with heavily threaded software, and able for gaming. Fitting a more powerful GPU into this chassis is probably not possible, and that's where larger competitors can set themselves apart, as well as by offering bigger screens. Still, this laptop pushes comfortably above 60 frames per second in most games, which is what you want in this price range. With this power and the 120Hz screen, it's a solid AAA gaming machine and an excellent competitive multiplayer laptop. If you really want frame rates higher than the G14 can push, the options are out there. But we're big fans of this total package. It earns our editor's choice for mid-range gaming laptops for its strong performance and unmatched portability. Dell's Inspiron laptops are positioned below its more powerful flagship XPS series, but you'd never know it from the Inspiron 14 7000, which boasts a magnesium alloy chassis that's virtually as thin, light, and sturdy as an XPS enclosure. Plus, it pulls off the neat trick of squeezing a 14-inch display into a 13-inch size body. Under the hood, it offers Intel's 10th generation Comet Lake CPUs and the option for NVIDIA GeForce MX250 dedicated graphics. In addition, the long battery life will let you leave your charger at home. Unless you need the 4K screen resolution that's available with some models of Dell's XPS 13, the Inspiron 14 7000 is the ultra-portable to own and our editor's choice pick among mainstream power laptops. Even though the Lenovo ThinkPad lineup is aimed at businesses, these rugged, feature-packed laptops enamor plenty of customers too. The latest X1 Carbon, dubbed Gen 7, is a prime example of this crossover. This ultra-portable business laptop distills the ThinkPad concept to its essence, shedding weight but keeping classic ThinkPad features like the comfortable keyboard, the iconic red track point, and lots of IT security and manageability features. It also offers enthusiast-minded features like face recognition for easy logins to Windows 10 and a gorgeous HDR-enabled 4K glossy screen. That kind of screen may be overkill for many business users, but designers and discriminating consumers will appreciate having the choice. To its credit, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon manages both business and pleasure with aplomb, earning it our Editor's Choice Award for Best High-End Business Laptop. In the Blade 15 Advanced model, Razer once again may have created the elite gaming laptop to beat for this generation. The design is appealing, the build quality is strong, the performance is great and the battery is relatively long-lasting. You could argue it's a little pricey for a model with a Max-Q GeForce RTX 2070 as opposed to an RTX 2080, but then again, getting the power into a smaller and attractive package and still making it run efficiently doesn't come cheap. The results do speak for themselves, and its performance hangs with other top-tier machines, some with superior on-paper components. If you accept you're already shopping in the premium price tier, Safe to say, if you're considering a $2,600 laptop, the Blade 15 offers the best bang for your buck and build quality. The 2400 version is even more appealing if a 256GB drive will suffice, but most gamers will fill that small of an SSD in an eye blink. Otherwise, it's hard to find much fault with the Blade. The lid logo of Snakes might get you some side eye from strangers in a coffee shop or a stuffy meeting. It also might be a little heavier and denser feeling than we'd like, but you have to fit high-end power somewhere. In the end, these are nitpicks relative to the positives. The 2019 Razer Blade earns our editor's choice as the best portable high-end laptop on the market right now, beating the competition on design and performance. You can find plenty of good value Chromebooks out there, but the Acer Chromebook 514 is among the best. It delivers premium features at a reasonable price, and provided Google Chrome OS meets your needs, it's hard to say no to this one. Our top tier review configuration at 499 is costlier than many other Chromebook models, but if you were looking at Windows-based notebook PCs, you'd be hard pressed to find a thin and light aluminum chassis, all day battery life, a full HD touch display, and a backlit keyboard, all of which you get in the Chromebook 514. More budget-oriented Chromebooks tend to lack one or more of those conveniences too. 
While the ho-hum Intel processor left us wishing for something newer, it was still plenty responsive, since Google Chrome OS is less performance hungry than Windows is to do equivalent tasks. This Acer could use better speakers, but that's hardly a deal breaker in a Chromebook, or a Windows-based notebook for that matter. Nearly everything else about it is a deal maker, earning it our top honors for a reasonably priced premium Chromebook. A controversial keyboard once present in every Apple laptop is now a thing of the past. The new for 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro was the last Mac notebook waiting to be updated with a new Magic Keyboard. The Magic Keyboard ditches the extremely shallow keys of the previous design, adding travel distance and stability in a bid to please people who use their laptops to type all day long. Also new on our 1799 MacBook Pro review unit are an updated 10th generation Intel processor, faster memory, and more storage. The upgrades are nice if you can afford them, but most people will be satisfied with the base 1299 configuration instead, which retains our editor's choice for the best Mac laptop. Some of the improvements that Apple made to the MacBook Pro family in its latest model are minor. For example, the screen is bigger by a few fractions of an inch than before. But the most consequential one addresses one of our main quibbles for the last few generations of MacBook Pro, the shallow, unsatisfying keyboard. The other major improvements, especially those to audio quality, are impressive. And they make what was already an excellent laptop even better. We were a bit grudging in our recommendation due to the keyboard issue and Apple's merely incremental responses to it. The butterfly keyboard was widely panned on the fronts of comfort and, in early iterations, durability. And Apple tweaked it only by half measures generation to generation. This model shows Apple finally listening to its loyal users. With that change and the advances on the component and display fronts, the 16-inch MacBook Pro is easy to recommend to well-heeled content creators, whether they're editing 8K video footage or compiling mission-critical code updates. It's a pity that Apple doesn't offer an easier entry version of this laptop with less expensive components, though. This expensive laptop isn't really designed or priced for mainstream users, since its specs are overkill for everyday tasks and its port selection will require too much in the way of accommodations and extra expense. On the other hand, if your pockets are deep enough that you don't mind buying a fistful of dongles and adapters, and you're seeking a powerful big screen laptop for content creation tasks, the 16-inch MacBook Pro has plenty of sizzle. The XPS 13 is Dell's flagship ultra portable, and the 2020 version has a slightly larger display in a redesigned body that's minutely more compact than its predecessors. It also boasts a significantly more futuristic design. With CNC milled aluminum and ultra thin screen bezels, the XPS 13 has a striking look in line with its high price tag. It starts at about $1,000, and our test unit was about $1,750, a few hundred dollars higher than competing systems with Intel Core i7 processors and Full HD screens. It must weather stiff competition from the likes of Apple, HP, Lenovo, and others. So it's no surprise to see that Dell has invested heavily in the physical design, making it smaller and lighter while simultaneously improving many of its features. The thing is, Dell has also invested heavily in its other products, including the Inspiron 14 7000, which offers many of the same features as the XPS 13, in a chassis that's a bit larger, heavier, and slightly less elegant, but also solidly constructed and much less expensive. Dell's pricing changes frequently, but currently an Inspiron 14 7000 configured nearly identical to the XPS 13 costs hundreds of dollars less. That makes the XPS 13 a bit harder to justify, and why it gets 4 stars, down from 5 stars a mere couple of generations ago. It's best to think of the XPS 13 as a status symbol, even as its benefits trickle down to other models lower in Dell's food chain. You'll need to pay a premium for it, just as you need to pay the infamous Apple tax for a MacBook Pro. But in return, you get a superbly designed laptop with oodles of cool factor. Despite its unorthodox blue color, the Elite Dragonfly is a no-nonsense business laptop that gets the basics right. The fact that it manages to include all of its features in such a compact, lightweight, and well-built package is what makes it a standout. A business laptop should be easy for IT departments to manage and equally easy for users to cart around, as well as offer proficient performance in everyday computing tasks. With a 2.2 pound starting weight, available Intel V Pro support, and other similar features, the Elite Dragonfly exceeds all of these requirements. It's our new top pick for business-focused 2-in-1 convertible laptops and it's especially well suited to executives who travel a lot and also need to give presentations from their laptop screen. The Elite Dragonfly may be a first-rate convertible, but HP still knows how to make a first-rate clamshell laptop too. 
We were enamored with this punchy little ultra portable. And it's possibly no coincidence that during the time it took for us to test the NV13 and review it on PCMag.com, Dell and Razer took several hundred dollars off the price of the XPS 13 and Blade Stealth respectively. Could the NV13 be better? Sure. Power users will gripe about the lack of a Thunderbolt 3 port, but the NV13 rates near the top of a crowded field. If you want to cut down on how much laptop you have to carry without overspending on it, don't overlook this one. Want more detail about our laptop picks? Check out the full roundup at PCMag.com.